everybody, my name is Juan. I'm from Quito, Ecuador. Uh, Quito is a small country in South America. It's not part of Mexico. <laughs> uh, I just say that because most people sometimes think, oh, because I'm Latin and I speak Spanish, I should be Mexican. <laughs> okay? I love Mexicans. I love Mexico, but not all the Latinos are from Mexico. There are 20 more countries that speak Spanish, not just Mexico. And maybe I get it because next to the United States and they get confused, but you know, uh, yeah, I'm from Ecuador. Uh, well, explain my accent. Yes, I have an accent. I born with it. I'm born with this accent. And don't worry, it's not contagious. <laughs> maybe you don't gonna understand some words, and maybe you're gonna get confused. But don't worry, I get confused by myself sometimes. <laughs> so it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, I'm been living here in this country for ten years. Uh, recently, I become an American citizen. Thank you very much. And I just say this loud, not because you care. It's because we never know who is listening. So, I just want to put that there. So it's uh, I love this country. I really love this country. And before I came to this country, I hear a lot of things about this country. Some things are true and some things are false. But one of the things I heard before I came, it was this thing about like, uh, time is money, you know, money, 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 money. And I get it. You need money for a lot of things, you know. You need money for eat, for get food, you get money to get dressed, you get money to study, you need money to buy a car, you need money to go to the movie theaters, you need money for drugs, you need money for <laughs> going to the strip club. I mean, you need money for those things. <laughs> no, I, I'm joking. I never go to the movie theaters. <laughs> I never go to the movie theaters because I have Netflix. <laughs> and you need money for Netflix. So it's fine, you know? Uh, another thing that you used to hear before I came to this country, this idea that, you know, when you are in America, you are no longer a person. You become a number. And I was like, no, I don't get that part. No, yeah, you become a number. And I didn't believe that until I moved to this country. And people stop calling by my name and start calling me Juan. Juan, that's not my name. You know, at least I am a good number, you know, I'm number one. So. Another big thing that when you move to this country is this American dream thing. You know, I, ne I didn't get that part, American dream, what is that? And I, love, I know a lot of people don't know about that thing. <laughs> and I just realized what that means after I become a father. I have a seven-year-old kid. Uh, after I start raising my kid, one day click in my head and all that. I know what American dreams means. I'm tired all the time. <laughs> because being a dad is so hard. I don't know how many parents are here, but to raise a kid is really hard, you know? And it's hard because most of my parenting techniques came from my single Latina mother. And most of those techniques you cannot use in this country. <laughs> because you can go to jail. <laughs> and I don't want to go to jail again. I mean, <laughs> oh, well, you know, who cares? I am a citizen already. So. <laughs> but you know, the apparent is hard. Like the other day, my kid was like, a, we came from the park and I was like, Danny, go to take a shower. You know, I don't want to take a shower. Danny, go take a shower. I don't want to take a shower. So in my head, I was thinking, my mom techniques, my mom techniques. <laughs> so I, I get it now. And I was like, Danny, I'm going to count three. If you're not in the shower after I count three, you're going to see what happened. And I start, one, he never moves. Two, nothing. <laughs> and I start panicking. <laughs> you know why? Because I don't know what to do after number three. <laughs> because with my mom, I never passed number one. <laughs> so I was panicking, and I did what any other parent would do. I took a shower, and I cried. <laughs> and you know, another time, we was eating, and I was like, Danny, eat your vegetables. I don't want to eat vegetables. Danny, eat your vegetable. I don't want to eat your vegetable. So I was thinking in my head, my mom, my mom. And I was like, oh, I know this situation. So I said, Danny, you know how many kids in Africa don't have any food? <laughs> and my kid 
Look at my eyes and say, Dad, you know how many parts in your age have a night job and money in your bank account? <laughs> 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 and I did what any other parent would do. <laughs> I finished his food and I cried. <laughs> And I didn't cry because he didn't eat his food. I cried because he was right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's hard to be a dad. And, oh, but I, I love my kid. I really love my kid. I, I really want to support him all the time. And sometimes when I don't have the answers to raise my kid, I go to Google. <laughs> <laughs> so I, the other day I was reading uh, this article about how to raise your kid. And I was like, you know, sometimes you have to be tough but don't forget to be his friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I was trying to put that in practice, so I was like, Danny, pick up your toys, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was so confusing. He was confusing, I was confusing. So I don't know. <laughs> and I love that kid, and I'm going to do everything to support him. Like the other day, he came, Dad, he was so excited. And he was like, Dad, Dad, I want to study karate. karate. And I was like, I don't know anything about karate. So I was in my head thinking about karate thing and reference. So first thing came in my mind, Karate Kid. The movie, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the like, uh, the, mi the Senor Miyagi, what's in, what's on? The, <laughs> baby defense and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I don't want kids bullying my kid, right? So I said, let's go. We jump in my car, and I drove straight to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> and I choose the better handyman there to teach my kid. <laughs> and you know, it's been three months since he's been studying with this guy, <laughs> and I don't know if he knows how to fight now, but he's making $13 an hour <laughs> in cash. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>